All right, so um, another update on RS-2006, uh, April 4th, 2012. Today, a behind-the-scenes has been released, and I'm kind of excited. Let's, I guess we should read. Let's read it. Yeah, whatever. April is most definitely going to be RS-2006's busiest month so far. We're expecting massive updates to the game itself as well as the website. As stated in our previous announcement, pre-alpha should come out either in April or May, and we're pushing as hard as we physically can to get ourselves ready for our first major testing stage. First off, we welcome a new server developer to the RS 2006 team. He has requested not to reveal him. He has request requested not to reveal him until he has finished working on the combat system. So expect a separate announcement on this addition to the team later on. We will tell you, though, that he is a professional content developer who is prestigious in many RuneScape private server communities. So expect tons of content additions from him in the future. As mentioned above, the new server developer is reworking the combat system on RS-2006 to more accurately match the combat in RuneScape in the year 2006. We are confident that the combat system will, will be thoroughly tested and near flawless by pre-alpha, meaning that this will be one of the best combat systems ever seen in a RuneScape private server. Expect more pictures and video prog videos of progress in the future. Next in the month, we plan on doing several live streams of both website development and actual gameplay of RS-2006. Mod Josh is currently working on reworking the website to make it more stable, secure, and powerful as the current website has issues with loading times and other small things. We're also going to be introducing a new website designer this month. He has already done some work for us including the message center, the code of conduct, and the recover account page. All of these will be released with the website rewrite. Re, re, rewrite. I cannot talk. And there, uh, there's a picture of the message center right there. They just worked on. <sighs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> move this down. Later on, once combat is done, we will be putting our final touches on the server to prepare it for pre-alpha. Beforehand, the developers will have multiple private testing periods to go through the server as much as they can to find bugs or glitches. So that we can patch them in time for pre-alpha. As mentioned in the previous announcement, the content to the content to expect in pre-alpha is combat, woodcutting, fire making, fishing, cooking, mining, smithing, possibly one or two mini games, and some miscellaneous content. Every week or two, we will be uploading waves of new content into pre-alpha for testing of other skills, mini games, etc. To make things to make things easier for developers as well as the players. Not only will these waves introduce new content every week but it will also allow players to thoroughly test the things in each wave and put less stress on the developers to fix them. And in other news, Daryl is the first forum mar bleh, moderator to have been promoted to RS2006 administrator. He will join the team of community administrators to deal with anything community related, which includes patrolling forums, enforcing the rules, and black marking players who need to be black marked. Please congratulate Mod Daryl on his promotion in the form. Mod Vault, head of Ars 2006. So, um, things are starting to look really damn good for pre alpha. Uh, as you can see, not too much longer, and we can finally start testing. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait to see how the, um, combat system is, because combat on some RuneScape private servers are, is just terrible. Like, it, sometimes stuff just doesn't work out right. And there's all the other skills. One or two mini games. Alright, so please subscribe. I will keep you posted. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please let me know.